Welcome to Red Wolves Rugby. I'm Rich Carvel and uh, Matt Huckabee, who is the coach for the Red Wolves rugby team, is uh, joining me today. And we're going to talk about the program of rugby here at, uh, at Arkansas State University. Matt, you're, you're a new, new guy in the coach's position, but not a new guy at Arkansas State rugby. That, What's that, your background? That's right. I'm a, I'm a rookie coach officially. Uh, I've graduated my undergrad and my master's degree here at Arkansas State, and um, and uh, just proud to be a Red Wolf and, and still working in um, and, and coaching this uh, this rugby team. But I, I played uh, all five years of my eligibility up here at uh, Arkansas State, and um, it's it's a very nice spot to be able to coach this this team I love and, and kind of help build uh, through playing with it. And who was your coach? Well, my old man was my coach. <laughs> That's right. It was uh, probably probably. Um, Probably had it rougher than most players, but, uh, but my, my father was a coach, and he just recently stepped down, and, and I got to try to attempt to fill some pretty big shoes now. That, that's attorney uh, Kurt Huckabee. That's who, right, yep. Who Kurt also Huck played in college, played rugby in college. He uh, did. D Dad California. learned the game um, in California uh -huh. at, at uh, Sac State, I, I think. He was a uh, right. starting outside linebacker for the football team uh, at Sac State, and uh, played one game of rugby and uh, decided that was his sport, and um, that, that was that was um, the end of his football days, and he enjoyed a, a, a pretty long, good career in, uh, in rugby. And your position here on campus, in addition to being rugby, rugby coach? Okay, I'm the rugby coordinator and an international recruiter. Uh, Dr. Howard has um, picked up the rugby team and the funding of it in the um, international program, in the international student department, and so um, that's where I'm housed now. And you good have? Team a number of international students who play for you. That's right. I've got probably around 11 or 12 this year, and they're from everywhere from South Africa, Japan, Trinidad. We've had them from Fiji. Um, I think we've got a kid from Argentina coming back um, next year. So well, It's a real international group. Yeah, we are a diverse group, that's for sure. Yeah. And, uh, and in my opinion, that's the key to our success. We're but, hard to defend. But you've got local guys, we too. We do. We throw some Jonesboro kids into the mix. Um, we, our two biggest uh, pools um, as far as high school are out of Chicago and uh, the Texas areas, Fort mm -hmm. Worth areas. Because um, those states play rugby. That's right. That right. That's right. They have high school rugby. Right. And, um, and then we, we pick up some local athletes like Matt Guest or, or Caleb Gregg and um, we teach, or your son. My um, son, your John. Son, John yeah. Years ago. It, yeah. And, I mean, and it's a, it's a matter of just teaching them the game. And then they definitely have the athleticism and the right mentality for the game. And once they catch on, they, they make tough players. So. Well, John was a, a high school athlete at Nettleton, played football. That's right. Yep. But the rules are different. And we're going to talk a little bit about that. Uh, very different. That's right. Uh, they, they have to get out of the, some of the mentality of those old football rules. That's yeah. right. There's, a, you know, there's no blocking in rugby. Yeah. Um, rugby is really similar to football. And um, in fact, it's the game American football evolved from. Um, rugby was played up until the late 20s in the U.S., um, and then it got kicked out of the Olympics, uh, which is important to note the last time rugby was an Olympic sport, the USA did win a gold medal. Uh -huh. And it's a very fascinating story, so if you're, if you're um, wondering um, something to Google search, Google search that story. It, it's a pretty good one. Uh, however, after it got kicked out of the Olympics, um, football took off to a greater degree in the U.S., but uh, the two sports are similar. There's no blocking in rugby, and that's because simply it's a huge option play. And the name of the game in rugby is to score and run into the end zone. We call it the try zone because you score a try and you don't score a touchdown. Um, mm -hmm. But it's worth five points. And you kick a conversion just like you would in football. However, wherever you score in the try zone, the ball has to come out in a straight line, and you have to negotiate that angle for the um, extra points, and it's worth two. So seven in, in all. Um, and the name of the game is to um, set your buddy up uh, for a good run. So if I take the ball, I draw in the defense, I try to draw my man in on me, and I try to draw my, my, my teammate's man in on me. And right before I get tackled, I'll lay that ball off, and my teammate will run through the hole that I just created with the ball. Okay. We'll, we'll pick up on some of those rules and the differences as we look okay. at the video from the Dartmouth game, which we're going to do. But let's talk briefly about the uh, national championships. Y'all are back again this year. That's right. Uh, in, into the round of 16. And a good way to think about it, um, it how the championship works, is, is just like the NC2A um, basketball. It's a sweet 16, basically. One and done at this point. Mm -hmm. uh, 
each region of the country gets to send a certain amount, uh, a certain number of seeds. And South is a little weaker region, so we only got to send two seeds this year. And of course, it's us in Tennessee. So to get those uh, seeds, we played a South tournament to, to determine who are the, the two strongest teams in the South. Um, it was us in Tennessee in the finals, which it always is. And, and it, for those of y'all that's never been out to a Tennessee Arkansas State game, it is a heck of a game. Uh, and, um, and, and tradition would have it that it's played in about four inches of mud and uh, wet weather. And, it, and as was the case a couple weekends ago, um, and, and we, we won. And, um, and so now we're traveling to Santa Barbara and we're going to face a very, very tough St. Mary's team first round. In fact, they're calling the, um, the, pool a, um, the pool of death because there's three really, really strong teams that could all make the final four, but they have to meet each other in the first couple of rounds and uh, only one's going to get to be able to move on. Move on. Wow. Well, we'll come back and talk okay. about that uh, Dartmouth game in just a minute. Okay. <laughs> 